musicality for dancers. If you don't naturally have that magical ear where you can pick up certain sounds in a song, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can improve the skill of musicality and listening to music. Hi, my name is Julia. I'm a dancer in the DC area. Since I've been dancing more and more, I've noticed I've become so much better at listening to music and translating that into my movement. Musicality can come naturally or more easily to musicians who are used to picking up and keeping a tempo, but a lot of dancers, it, they struggle with this because it doesn't, it's not second nature. As a dancer, musicality benefits me because I can appreciate smart choreography more. If I can hear what the choreographer hears, I can hit the right timing and the textures that they're intending. I feel like I used to hit a lot of those moments in choreography on accident, and then I'd watch my videos back and be like, oh, like I see what the choreographer did there, that was very smart and clever. Whereas now that I'm better listening to music, I can hit those smart moves with intention and make them more powerful. What I like about watching a dancer with musicality, great musicality, is that they can create a visual to help you hear things that you didn't notice before when you're just listening to the music alone. So how do we improve musicality? Maybe you want to choreograph or you're just taking class. Sometimes we know the music in advance, so maybe if you're on a team, I know the instructors will also sometimes post the song they're teaching to this that week or whatever, or um, maybe, like I said, if you're on a team, it's a competition song and your coach sends out the music file. Either way, if you have the music or not, I have some practical, mindful exercises that you can do to improve musicality. The first one is groove with the song. So form a relationship with the song, turn it on in your bedroom, whatever, put your headphones in and literally just groove with it. No pressure to do an elaborate freestyle or anything. I would try different levels, different textures, and just groove and do what feels right to you. That way you'll be able to pick up the beat when you're supposed to. I would do this for the full duration of the song um, to give you a feel for any tempo changes or groove patterns that come up. So step one, groove alone with that song at least one time through. Some teachers will only play a clip, so that's really your chance to take the initiative and do that on your own. The second exercise is to listen to the song on repeat and each time listen for something different. For example, the first song that I thought of is Crazy in Love by Beyonce for some reason, but um, I'd spend one time listening through for trumpets and brass instruments only and then I'd start the song over and I'd listen in full length again for there's like a cymbal sound in the back and then I'd start the song over again and then I would listen for like percussion and drums and then I then I would start it over again and then I would actually listen to the lyrics and Beyonce's voice and Jay-Z. Um, I don't know the names of instruments and you don't need to either but just identify a new sound in the background that makes up the song as a whole and listen for that beat one time around. It's important to remember that this is like a mindfulness exercise. So if you find that you're getting distracted by maybe the lyrics or something, it's no big deal. Just acknowledge you're getting distracted, come back to, okay, I'm listening for the symbols and just bring yourself back. It's difficult to get through the whole song without getting distracted, but there's just no losing here because this is active listening. And so you are just becoming a more focused listener. Even if you don't have the song for your dance class, you can practice this with any music. Just pay attention when you're listening to music even in the car, just pay attention to different sounds that you hear and just be more aware. And here's my third and final tip. Watch different people. So this can be whether you're in a class and you're watching different groups go, watch somebody different each time because different people will bring out different things in the music and they will help you realize and understand musicality more. This can also mean maybe you're learning a TikTok dance or an Instagram reel, whatever. You can swipe through and look at different dancers. I've noticed that there's people who interpret the dance differently, which is great, and it helps you understand and see different things. So watch different people, watch somebody different every time. Don't always be attracted to that one person that you're like, oh my God, like I admire you so much. Just try to, Try to split your attention up a little bit. 
So those are my tips. Groove with the song at least once, one time through to form that relationship and then listen to the song over and over again, listening for different things each time. And then number three is to watch different people, whether it's in class or online. These will translate into the studio when the instructor gives you a sneak peek for the music, you'll be able to pick up what they're throwing down faster. And that's it. I hope this video has helped you and at least given you something to think about a little bit more as far as musicality with dance goes. And yeah, the next time you take a dance class, just think about it. Dance is about rhythm and I think it's important to put our focus on rhythm and musicality because we get distracted a lot by technique. But um, musicality can be a really powerful component in dance. So I really encourage you to try these things out and just think about them. If you liked this video and it made you think, please like it and hit subscribe because I have some more dance videos coming up. And thank you for watching. See you next time.